It's kind of turning me on in a weird way. Okay, you need to stop. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity goggle box moments. She was good in Marley and May. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> of all that film, Marley and May. It's my favourite. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Ever taken flowers to anyone on a first date? No. No, me neither. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going to be looking at the best reactions and most memorable quotes from the celebs on their sofas. Who are your favorite celebrity goggle boxers? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Giles loves Love Island. Love, yeah. lust, oh, this, do you know, uh, this beats the archers. A hit with millennials and Gen Z since its revival in 2015, The Dating Show, where swimwear-clad 20-somethings compete for love and a 50k cash prize, is an easy target for mockery from those who consider their tastes more highbrow. What? Does she turn you on like I do? Oh. There's a little tremor beneath the duvet there. Oh dear. However, 73-year-old Giles Brandreth, writer, actor, former politician, and Gogglebox fan favorite, makes no secret of his love for the show. Do you know I don't need alcohol? I, I don't I don't need this is the only aphrodisiac I need. Fellow thespian Sheila Hancock may not share his enthusiasm, but Giles is here for the drama and doesn't care who knows it. It might not be the target audience, but that doesn't stop him from tuning in. That's not, in my view, the language of love, is it? It really is. It's not going to get my juices going. Number nine, Sean and Bez were disturbed by Watership Down. Chicken. Oh, jumpers. Chicken jumpers. Careless. Kale. What do rock stars do in their spare time? Well, if celebrity Gogglebox is to be believed, they're knitting jumpers for chickens and watching children's classic Watership Down, a cuddly little story about rabbits, or a horrifying epic of war, death, and survival of the fittest. Do you remember me, me and you watched Watership Down? You know what I was talking about Watership Down? When the rabbit died, yeah, bright well, eyes. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you cried. You cried? What? Sean Ryder and Mark Bez Berry from English rock band The Happy Mondays debate the eternal question over a tub of ice cream. As kids' films go, the 1978 cartoon is not an experience you forget in a hurry. And now we know it also makes grown men cry. It should be a PG, yeah. Yeah. Got to be an 18, that one. No, that, that was emotionally disturbing, bright eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, thoughts on the Friends reunion. I've never watched it. Shut the front door, you've never watched Friends. The long-awaited cast reunion of this beloved US sitcom Friends, which ran from 1994 to 2004, finally hit our screens in May. The celeb goggle boxers were just as excited as the rest of us to see the gang back together again, and their reactions seem to reflect the public consensus. I'm afraid we're watching it for the wrong reasons. Why? Because I want to see how they've aged. Not a single forehead will move. Beginning with some skepticism and a healthy desire to critique which friend had aged the best, ultimately they got caught up in the emotion and nostalgia of the thing. Ah, uh, Joey! Wow, my man's coming looking like a bus driver. Some were diehard fans, some barely new names, but one thing's for certain, everyone's shipping Ross and Rachel again. Joey I could always kind of relate to a little bit. Cause you know, he's like... Stupid. Yeah. Number seven, the Dyers watch University Challenge. Some would say maybe I could have sent you down that route. University. Since it first aired in 1962, the quiz show that pits teams of brain box students against each other has been considered one of the most difficult on telly. With questions so specific and varied that to get one right as a layman feels like a real achievement, it's especially satisfying when you know something that the contestants don't. Hello, I'm James Ross. I'm from Coventry. Ross, look at him, look, Ross. look at him, Thunderbird. <laughs> Actor Danny Dyer and Love Island winner Danny Jr. are all of us when watching the show. Intimidated by the students' intelligence, but more impressed by our own correct answers than anything else. Uh, Georgiana, Duchess of Devonshire. Correct. F 
Fucking hell, how on earth does he know it? Still, there's more to life than general knowledge, right? Number six. Oh, he's creepy. Big Brother has asked Ruler to take part in an experiment to see if humans can communicate with animals. Oh no. When George Galloway appeared on Celebrity Big Brother in 2006, his imitation of a cat during a group challenge made headline news and had the country collectively squirming. Now, would you like me to be the cat? <laughs> the goggle boxers relived the infamous water cooler moment while watching a compilation of the reality show's best bits. The reactions were more varied than might be expected. Oh dear. Oh George. Oh George. People have lost their seats for less. Some were familiar with the clip, but those celebs who had missed the first time around were naturally horrified, some confused, and some even aroused. <laughs> Stacey Solomon, however, revealed her own range of animal impressions and was left unmoved by the politician's paltry attempt. Number five, we don't like it. Oh, is it Dumbo? I can't watch it. We don't like it! Clowns are supposed to make you laugh, not cry, but when the king of horror created Pennywise, his infamous killer clown, he tapped into a fear already held by many of us. Oh! oh. oh. Whether you're a scaredy cat when it comes to horror films, or they leave you unmoved, they're best watched with company, and they always get a great reaction from our goggle boxes. <laughs> Little Mix gave us serious friends at a sleepover energy while watching the first part of Stephen King's It, but would you be unimpressed like Jesse or hiding behind the sofa like Jade? Oh, Jade! <laughs> I don't like it. Number four, don't keep the declined receipts. What made you decide to bring the flowers? Gone free from work. I just thought they're, they're lovely, really. As dating shows go, first dates has a simple format. Two singles have a blind date over dinner and decide afterwards whether they want to see each other again. However, it's that relatability that can make it so painful to watch. He's looking at the necklace again. Has he never seen a pair of boobs before? A Gogglebox favourite, the show often finds its viewers cringing from the awkwardness, but this episode challenged expectations too. After boasting about his wealthy lifestyle, things don't go smoothly for one data when it comes to pay the bill. Oh no. This is awkward. We get pity, scorn and laughter from the celebs, but that final conversation doesn't go as expected. You go first. I would. Would you? Yeah. I would not. Yeah. What? Yeah, I would actually, yeah. Great. <laughs> really? Oh. Did we miss something? Number three, actual screaming at Bake Off Disasters. Bake Off the professionals, so it's Bake Off, but they're professionals, so it's next level Bake Off. As the great British Bake Off fans will already be aware, competitive baking can provide more nail-biting moments than your average TV thriller. Your showpiece must include some blonde sugar. Sugar! 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 <laughs> Bake Off The Professionals steps up the drama another level, at least if the Gogglebox's reactions are anything to go by. As intricate sugar sculptures crash to the floor like the competitors' dreams, the tensions escalate, and so does the screaming. Oh, no! Is it cracked? <gasps> she broke it! Oh, she broke it! Everyone is totally invested whether they're covering their eyes or attempting to hide their laughter. Is this what the baker's inner monologue would sound like? Maybe. Oh! <gasps> ah! oh. Either way, it was entertaining to watch. Number two, Naked Attraction sparks conversation. A dating show where contestants pick a prospective partner based on their naked body sounds like a pitch that would never make it past the censorship board. And yet, Naked Attraction exists. A Gogglebox favourite, the Channel 4 series is a guaranteed conversation starter. Although, admittedly, the main topic up for discussion is, why would anybody apply for this? 
It appears to have cross-generational appeal and can also be educational. He's got all that bollocks on his uh, bollocks. <laughs> Tom Jones memorably learned about the jazzles and genital piercings, while little Nix gained a new perspective on childbirth. If you can tell the hole of a jam jar to your nunny. Oh God, right, yes! But every moment the celebs spend reacting to this show is gold. Number one line of duty stars in lockdown. It's been so long since I've seen this film. Of all the celebs to grace the Gogglebox sofas, no one has made an impression quite like the cast of Line of Duty, who took part for 2021's Stand Up For Cancer special. <laughs> Locked down together during the filming of the sixth series, Adrian Dunbar looks ready to send his co-stars to bed early so he can watch TV in peace. Looking cozy in their loungewear, Vicky McClure and Martin Comston, aka Kate and Steve, giggle like hyperactive teenagers, while a resigned superintendent Hastings fully inhabits the role of long suffering dad. But he did perk up in time for Nigella. Simply Nigella. Simply Nigella. Oh, that's the first lie. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.